Okay, today I'm going to make a pumpkin soup. Uh, first thing I do, I've, I've got my oven preheating and I've got a couple of pans. I need to take and put a little oil in here. Just take and put a little bit of oil. Spread it around with a paper towel. We'll, we'll do that to both pans, but I'm only going to show you the one. Now, I've got my cutting board. Now you want something that's not going to move around. This one's pretty flat. It sits here really good. And it's so anyway, make sure you got something that sits there really good. If you're kind of moving around, take a damp paper towel, put it underneath, and that'll help prevent it from moving around. Now there's my pumpkin. Now I'm going to talk about knife selection. I love this knife. I just got it. It's a ceramic knife. It is sharp, incredibly sharp. It cuts really good. The problem is it's not very good for prying. I could very easily break this knife if I'm prying on the pumpkin. And I may have to pry a little bit to get started. So I'm just going to take a regular metal knife. You want something that's good and heavy. And you want to kind of poke it in. And you don't want to put your finger in between you and the cutting board. Now I should be able to pry that apart. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop out the seeds and stuff, and you don't really need to see that. <clears throat> okay, so I've taken out most of the seeds and some a little bit of the stringy stuff that came out real easy. What I'm going to do now is take my metal knife, cut this stem out. Because it's real tough around the stem. Alright. Now I'm going to take this pumpkin and I'm going to cut it into wedges. Just like that. Now, I'll show you a safe way to get this, the rest of the stuff out of the center. Basically cut down to the skin, break it into pieces like that, lay it on its side, slice down and away. Now that's all the stringy stuff off. If you want, you can go ahead and cut the skin off now, but I like to leave that on while I'm roasting. It comes off real easy after we get done cooking. There we go, and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin cut up, and uh, I'm gonna put them, I've got them arranged on the cookie sheet, and you need a little bit of space in between the vegetables, because that helps, you know, it's a typical roasting method. You could toss them in oil, season them up if you want to. I'm not gonna bother with that, because I'm just cooking them just to get them soft. I want to put some color on them, and it's pretty simple. I did leave the skin on because it's easier and safer to take the skin off after they've cooked, and that way the pumpkin doesn't actually stick to my pan. If the skin sticks a little bit and I leave a little skin behind, that's fine. Now, I'm sure some people are going to say the way that I cut the strings off is going to waste some pumpkin, and I agree, that does waste a little bit of pumpkin, but Pumpkin's cheap, and I would prefer not to go to the emergency room with a cut finger. Thank you. Anyway, I'll put this in the oven, and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, and so my pumpkin's been in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. It's getting a little bit black around the edges and stuff, and it's kind of cooked. Now, since i got a spot open in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and throw my pumpkin seeds in there. Okay, so now we've got our pieces have cooled down enough that we can handle them. They're still pretty warm, so to be careful. Anyway, we're going to take and we're going to slice off that skin. And that skin's bitter. We'll make sure we get all, the, all of the skin off. There we go. There we go. Okay, our pumpkin's all cut up. As you can see, I've got a bunch of pumpkin here. I'm only going to use about half of it in this recipe. I'll save the rest of that for something else that's good. Anyway. Let's go over a couple things. I've got some coconut cream. I got one can. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to save some of this because this is what we're going to garnish our soup with. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there. Mm, 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 that's good stuff. 
I've got one tablespoon of sea salt. I may or may not use all of this, but that's what I, I have one tablespoon in there. I have half a teaspoon of, of a whole cumin seed. I've got a tablespoon of Madras curry powder. I've got half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of cayenne. I've got a tablespoon of ginger and gar or a tablespoon of ginger and a tablespoon of garlic. I've got three Roma tomatoes and one large onion. Now let's get started cutting this stuff up. We'll start off with cutting our onion. I'm just going to dice this up. cut my finger. This finger is not good in pumpkin soup. that up off camera. Now let's cut up a tomato. continue cutting the rest of that up off camera. Okay, our pan's sitting here getting warm. We're going to put some oil in here. Not too much. Maybe a little more than that. Put our cumin seeds in there. Okay, they're starting to sizzle. I need them to pop before I do anything. Alright, see now they're sizzling pretty good. We'll go ahead and we'll put our ginger and our garlic in there. Kind of flavor that oil up real good with the cumin, ginger, and garlic. We'll go ahead and we'll put our onions in. Go ahead and we'll put a little salt on here on those onions. Kind of stir everything up. Oh man, that smells good. Give those onions just a little bit of chance to soften. Put our tomatoes in. Stir this up and then I'll be back with you here in a minute. Okay, now we got our tomatoes in there. We're going to put a little bit of salt in there for the tomatoes. We're going to stir this up. And then we're going to put a lid on here and we're going to cook this down a little bit. And we'll stir it once in a while, but Okay, as you can see we're bubbling away there. What we're going to do now, we'll go ahead and we're going to put our spices in there. Oh man. That's good enough to eat right there. 
And we're going to go ahead and throw our pumpkin in. And what I have here is I've got some vegetables, vegetable broth. We're just going to bring that up right about there. We'll kind of mash this down a little bit. And it, now the pumpkin's already cooked, but we're going to soften it up a little bit more. We'll bring this up to a boil and we'll let it cook. After it comes back to a boil, we'll let it cook for about five minutes. Okay, uh, now during the time that this was cooking, I would occasionally, once a minute or two, I would take and pull the lid off, give it a stir and check it. I did add some more stock to it because it was getting kind of dry. So I'm going to add just a little bit more right now. I'll give this another mix. Now I'm going to turn my fire down on low. And then what we're going to start doing, we're going to start blending this up. to make a mess. As you can see, this is getting kind of dry. I got some before that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to dump in our coconut cream. Mix this up. Now, depending on how thick you want it, you may want to add some more stock back to this. In fact, I think I'm going to add a little bit more back in here. I'm going to crank the heat back up to medium. We'll put a little bit more stock in here. Give it another mix. Now, blend this up some more. some more stock. Let's go ahead and put the rest of this in here. Well, not, maybe not all of it. Just keep adding a little at a time. We'll mix it, blend it, mix it until we get it to where we want it. I think that's going to do it right there. Anyway, I'm going to get this nice and warm and then uh, I'll show you how to plate it up. Okay, uh, my assistant says we need a little bit more salt. Just She said just a tiny, tiny bit. 
Now if you use a homemade vegetable stock, you may have to add some more. Uh, so we're going to wind up with a total, we're going to use a, have used about half a tablespoon of the sea salt. Uh, that's not a whole lot, but we were using a commercial vegetable stock, and I'm sure that there's salt in that. So anyway, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to put this in the bowl. see that's pretty thick you may want to make it thinner you know it's you're, you're the one cooking it so make it the way you want it now we're going to take a little bit of this coconut cream and we're going to put it right there in the center and then we're going to sprinkle on some some of these chives there and that's how we'll serve it. Okay, so you want to taste test this for us? Yep. I like the cream. You like that cream? <laughs>